Hey there guys, what it is? It's Leon Muki here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Was the Son of Delson Rowe? This is part four. In the last part, Izuku basically passed the entrance exam and also wanted to relax a little bit. However, he couldn't and got some help from an unlikely person being Fuyumi Todoroki. As she began talking to Izuku, and with the two becoming friends. As the first day of UA begins, I Aizawa soon brings out everyone for a quirk evaluation test and soon saying with the one with the lowest score will be expelled. With that said, let's get into this, shall we guys? As everybody prepares for the quirk test, with Izuku basically not even worried whatsoever as he's just trying to stretch and get himself psyched up with Bakugo on his left and Ida on his right with saying well this is gonna be annoying as hell I can tell just by the two people that's beside me as Bakugo saying don't get cocky Deku just remember that saying yeah yeah I got it Dikachi on just whatever with saying Ida don't hold anything back either saying you too Ro as well with soon beginning as ba as Aizawa tells them to go with Izuku channeling almost all of his wind through his body, rushing as fast as he can to the other side. With Bakugo closing in and Ida also going fa going a little bit faster than Izuku. With Izuku trying to push himself as both I However, Ida soon surpassed Izuku with Izuku getting second and Bakugo getting third. With that, they had at least 1.53 seconds as Ida was at least two seconds ahead of Izuku. So he was able to make it faster than him. With Izuku saying, not bad Ida, not bad. Saying, thank you Ro. And you also did push me pretty far my myself. With Izuku saying, yeah, I do that a lot. With Bakugo saying, whatever as Bakugo couldn't help but clench his fist as for the next event being the the high leap as Izuku tries his best to jump as fast as he can with soon jumping into the air but then switching to explosions as he just makes it past the sand the sand trench easily without with not even trying as Bakugo basically does the same thing as how basically giving them the same score however the one with the highest score being suyu of course next up being grip strength test with izuku not even passing that one because he doesn't really have much strength i mean he's pretty well toned but not that tone of course just letting you guys know for that izuku only got at least probably around well 13th place, if I'm gonna be honest. Then there's pull ups where Izuku got, well, 12th place, a little bit better. And last but not least, being the ball throw. As for Izuku, he already did his ball throw, so he doesn't really need to. However, the next people being, well, Bakugo, as he tries his best and does his usual scream, DIE! as it is sent flying pat with being at least 705 meters into the air with a lot of people being impressed however ochako basically getting her usual infinity like always with izuku even being pretty impressed himself saying her quirk is, would be pretty interesting as he wants to ask her if, if he could well absorb her quirk for the time for a little bit if she allows it anyway and with soon everyone else finally pat finally got through the exams easily however there is somewhat of a difference well as shoto was basically giving it his all 110 percent just so he could show up izuku actually in a way as not even izuku could know why this why Shoto is basically, well, being this damn aggressive, if anything. With 
everyone's results now showing it's finally to add them up with first place being Momo as usual second place being Shoto third place being Bakugo fourth place being Ida and fifth place being Izuku with others actually getting the same placement as they would in canon. However, the only difference being, well, Mineta getting last place, of course. So yeah, as soon, everyone began looking at the score saying, Noru Mineta, with Izuki saying, oh, oh shit. It looks like it's a little grape dude over there, as he begins pointing, as he sees a small, a small boy with, with, well, grapes that look like is in his hair and has his mouth dropped but and his eyes basically roll in the back of his head in some way with nothing but whites with soon as I was saying Minoru Mineta pack up your things and go to the principal's office you're expelled with soon hearing this everybody is shocked even Momo was quite shocked as she believed that nobody would be expelled that it was just a ploy for them to give it their all during this test. With soon, as I was saying, don't expect me to be kidding in situations like this. To be honest, I, I was, I was actually being completely serious about expelling and one of you, and because I have expelled an entire classroom before, actually. With hearing this, everybody's jaws dropped and a sense of dread just looming all across them. With even Izuku, where the sense of, well, determination and strong will just basically faded from his mind and face, saying, you've got to be shitting me. I'd rather take the homeroom teacher of class 1B than this crazy ass teacher. As he thinks this to himself, basically freaking out like crazy. However, the only people that weren't, well, reacting to this was Bakugo and Shoto with even a little bit of Fumikage but was doing his best to actually well not even notice at all with soon as I was saying you can stay or you can leave school early if you want just make sure you go to the classroom and pick up a syllabus after this soon as I left everyone to be on their own with this Izuku basically grabbed a syllabus from his classroom and decided to head back home as he began thinking, Ugh, this is so annoying. Talk about a pain in the ass of the first day. Person being expelled? And I didn't expect that to happen so soon. As he begins thinking this to himself, he soon hears a voice saying, Hey, hey Deku, right? It's saying, wait, Deku? And it's saying, oh, or is it Izuku? I can't remember. He's saying, all right, Kachan might have called me Deku, isn't that right? With soon, he is saying, mind me asking, why does he call you Deku? It seems it seems pretty rude. As Izuku's saying, eh, he, used to, he calls me Deku as a sign of an insult. Originally, he always called me by my first name. But as we grew up, he started calling me Deku just to make fun of me. And it's pretty annoying. So I call him by that by a nickname I used to give him when we were kids, being Kachan. He despises it so much. I decided to just basically re just refer him as that from now on. It's kind of our thing, as Izuku says this in a nonchalant way, as both Ochako and Ida were really surprised about this. However, Ida couldn't help but notice Izuku's well. UA uniform that it seems completely unkempt and completely uncared for it whatsoever with Izuku saying oh right yeah <sighs> I decided didn't really care too much I mean appearances are one thing but it's actions that truly dictate who a person truly is that's all as Izuku says this and Ida saying I do agree but you look so disorderly and your display on how you see, on how you wear your UA uniform is just dishonorable. As he's saying, yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. You're gonna, you're gonna tag along to this train station or what? 
After hearing this, Ochako and Ida soon walked with Izuku to the train station. With the, the next day, Izuku and everyone else in class 1A began having a normal day. Even though one of their classmates yesterday has been expelled. However, there is one there is a person that has taken up the spot of Mineta within class 1A, and that being somebody from class 1B, being a boy by the name of Sen Kaibra, who, if he stayed in class 1B, would have been the good looking buzzkill of class 1B. However, he's now part of class 1A instead. With him introducing himself, saying, the name is Sen Kaibara. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Hope we can all get along and whatever. As everyone is kind of, well, shocked about the personality. Except Izuku, saying, eh, fair enough. It's simple and to the point. Doesn't really matter. As he says this with his feet on the desk as usual. As the day goes by, everyone in class 1A just has... The usual normal classes that you would see in a typical high school, even having lunch together, with Izuku eating lunch with, well, Ida and Ochako. As the day continues to go on, they have other periods, other classes as well, with their last class being the Hero Course, being part of the Hero Course class. As everybody waits for their teacher, wondering who it's going to be, with soon, the door slides open, saying, I am here, coming in the door like a hero. As soon, everybody began getting excited, seeing the number one hero, All Might. With soon, Kirishima says, All oh, right, All Might really is a teacher here at UA. With soon, oh, see so you saying, Wait, isn't that his Silver Age costume? With oh, Ojiro saying, Hey, it's kind of retro in a way, don't you think? With even Izuku saying, holy shit, all my tear, this is going to be awesome. With soon Kaibara making a comment, is almost everybody an all my fanboy is saying, what, you're not Kaibara? As he says, well, I don't dislike the guy, but I wouldn't call myself a fan as feeling kind of embarrassed about the comment. As Izuku really wanted to tease the pretty boy, but feel like it wasn't the right time for that. As All Might soon makes it to the podium saying, all right, listen up here, newbies. You may think that the hero course is all about just fighting against villains, but there are so many other things that are part of the hero course. But let's start out with something easy as he soon pull pulls out something from behind him as it's showing battle as saying battle simulations with Bakyo screaming out fight training as Izuku saying damn Kachan calm your ass down it's not that serious with saying what the hell you say Deku this is what it means to be a hero after all as soon All Might saying yes that is true young Bakugo However, there's still much more than you know than than meets the eye of what it truly means to be a hero. As oh, Abakio doesn't say anything and just turns his head to the side and grunting in frustration, was saying, "Yes, this is battle trading, but there's going to be a little twist to this. Just letting you all know." As he soon pulls out a remote. And then suitcases begin coming out of the wall, nearing the entrance of the classroom. It's saying, "This, all those those suitcases have your specified hero costumes within. Make sure you grab the right one, change it to them, and meet me at, be at training field beta." As after saying this, all might soon leaves. With a couple minutes later, everybody began changing into their hero costumes. With soon All Might waiting, saying, To not only be a pro, you gotta look the part of the pro. And I see each and every one of you body this entirely. As everyone in Class 1A begins showing off their hero costumes, with Izuku coming out with his hero costume. And it's the same hero costume that Inko made for him, of course. So he couldn't help but wanting to wear it. Since he is, since Izuku still is an All Might fanboy, of course. 
but it is, but the color is a little bit different. It's a lot more darker and there's a little bit more blue than there is, well, green actually. With that, soon all might notice the outfit saying that I can actually tell where he got that outfit from. With soon all might composing himself once more as saying, well everyone, now that you're all ready, let's soon get this training started. With soon Ida saying, I have a question, sir. This is where we did our, well, entrance exam. We'll be fighting against robots just like we did then? As All Might saying, normally, yes, young Ida, but I think it's, we should do a little bit more advanced. You'll be splitting up in a groups of two, where one group will be the heroes and another group will be the villains. After hearing this, Everybody began getting excited and some began feeling nervous. As All Might saying, today's training will be that of infiltration and base defending. Not only, most of the most battles when it comes to facing against hero, heroes and villains are always done outside in the public's eyes on the streets. However, the most dangerous ones are basically back alley deals secret hideouts, underground facilities. Battles like this are never shown to the public, and when they are, it's rare. St not only that, anything could happen, from booby traps, villain ambushes, and many, many other things as well. With soon see you saying, is it okay for us to be doing something this advanced early, so sir? Is saying, I believe so. I believe many of you have great potential and are ready for something this advanced. With soon Ida saying, I have a, another question, sir. How will the teams be split up? Will you be choosing them or will be choosing by our quirks? Not only that, will be will one of us be expelled from just like yesterday? As soon Kaiba saying, wait, that was serious? I thought some I thought that thought one of you just transferred to the general studies course or something like that because they couldn't cut it. As soon as you could say, nah, I saw I really expelled somebody from this class. So now that you're part of this class, you're also on a shit list as well. With soon Kayaba saying, great, thanks for the warning, Ro. As he begins internally thinking, if that's the case, I should have stayed in class 1B instead. What the hell did I get myself into? With soon, All Might saying, as well, I will say, none of you will be expelled from this test. Just letting you all know. Also, you'll be choosing your own groups by random by picking a letter from here. As he soon has a box in front of him saying, depending on the letter you get it is on a letter that somebody else will have as well. And that will make the two of you partners, teammates. As soon, everybody begins going up front, picking a letter, with Izuku getting the letter A. As he looks around, seeing somebody else with the letter A, as it being Ochako Uraka. As she soon walks up to Izuku, saying, I guess we really are going to be working together then, De Deku. Saying, yeah, I guess we are, Uraka. But saying, wait, did you just call me freaking Deku again? It's saying, oh, uh, is that something wrong? It's saying, ugh, no, I don't mind. The name isn't really annoying anymore. It's, I've now gotten completely used to it. I don't even see it as an insult. It's more just a play on of my name now. That's all. As saying, well, I believe it, you can do it. That's just how I see it. Plus, it's kind of cute too. As Izuki's saying, Eh, well, whatever floats your boat, I could care less. As time now goes by, everybody is now paired together with the first, with the first team groups being Group A and Group D. As Group D is Bakugo and Ida, just like they would in canon. With soon Bakugo and Ida heading to the location where they'll be having the bomb and where they'll be having the training exercise begin with Izuku and Ochako soon following after them. After this, Izuku takes off his rebreather 
and also removes his cowl as well, saying, Ugh, well, that, that makes things a lot more easier. With her saying, why did you get this costume? It's a man-made costume that my mom made me. It would be disrespectful I didn't wear it. And besides, I wore I kind of made the design when I was a kid. Didn't think she would actually make it, though. With Ochako saying, aw, that's so sweet. I guess you're not really much of a bad boy after all. Saying, who the hell said I was a bad boy? I'm just rebellious, that's all. And it's an influence of my dad, that's all as well. Was saying, so what's it like being the son of the number three hero? Saying, I'll explain after that we're done with this. With soon them entering the building as Ida soon as. Well, Bakugo, you have been friends with Ro for a long time now. Can you tell me what his quirk is? Saying his quirk allows him to absorb people's quirks just by touching them. But they have to touch their he has to touch their skin instead. Anything else doesn't work. His quirk is weaker than his dad's. That I do know. Saying so he's not so his quirk isn't as strong as his father's. That makes things a lot more easier. How many quirks does he have? Saying, I don't know. He may have gotten some new quirks over the years, but the one I do know he does have the most is my quirk being explosions. So I'll handle him myself. You can watch the damn bomb if you want. Just stay out of my way. Got it, four eyes. As Bakugo walks off on his own, with soon Ida feeling annoyed about the comment, but began realizing that he is a villain now, that he needs to act the role and the part of a villain. With soon both Izuku and Ochako entering the building, as he begins banging around the walls using his Eskrima sticks, as Ochako saying, what are you doing? With Izuku answering a question saying, well, using this Eskrima sticks, I am able to create some vibrations in the walls. With each well hit, I'm able to guess on where our opponents are and also where the bomb is. Personally, I'm a little bit rusty at this stuff, but it helps. I can tell that somebody is walking down down the floor couple floors down, but I can't tell which one is it or where the bomb is. But most likely it may be on the top floor. Just letting you know, Uraka. Saying, wow, it's amazing. Not only that, check this out. As he soon takes off his glove and then manipulate the walls as they are made out of metal after all. And as he begins, as a couple of metal spikes begin coming out. With Izuku pulling one out and then giving it to Uraka saying, here, you might need this just in case. It's saying, why your quirk, can, you can use this to float things. Knowing Ida, he already knows about your quirk since we already told him about it. So there's a chance that he may already be prepared for anything to happen. So you might need to take a few of these suckers just in case. As he pulls out a couple more metal spikes out of the wall. After that, Oraka has at least four, four metal spikes in her hands, two in each hand, with soon saying, where am I? You can put it in your belt if you want. I mean, it would make a lot more sense. Just saying, with that saying, oh, right. Saying, man, talk about, talk about not thinking things. I know she's new at being a, trying to be a hero, but still, she shouldn't know something like this at all. With soon, as they began walking up the floors, Izuku soon banged on the walls again, realizing the location as the sound begins to shift, as he noticed that somebody is coming down the hallway. Soon getting his stick ready, he soon manipulates the, me the metal of the escrima sticks, as he soon was about to hit the person that was coming down the hall corridor, as that person was also about to attack, and that being Bakugo, with both Izuku and Bakugo's eyes began widening, with Bakugo getting hit by 
one of his own by Izuku's explosion and Izuku getting hit by Bakugo's explosion with a piece of his, well, costume being ripped apart. As then, Ochako runs up to Izuku saying, Deku, are you okay? With Bakugo getting annoyed with saying, Damn you, Deku! Using my own quirk against me? Saying, are you seriously gonna start this shit now? Did I, I last check? You're the one who offered your quirk to me, asshole! When we were kids! As Bakugo soon getting frustrated, saying, Yeah, I remember. A little mistake that I need to correct. Saying, Ugh, great. So damn annoying. With soon, Izuku saying, Ochako, go. I'll handle the hothead. Saying, Are you sure? I'm fine. Oh, this won't take me too long. As he begins twirling his screen mistakes in his hands, with Ochako Su running off on her own, with Soon Izuku saying, "You ready for this, Kachan?" Saying, "I was born ready, Deku." With Soon, the two rushing at each other, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read what you guys have to say. Also, like and subscribe. I really would appreciate that as well. Also, I know that there's probably one question saying I should give Izuku one for all. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. If for any of you who have read the latest chapters of My Hero Academia, then you all know that some of you may know about the dark secret of One For All. So that's not going to happen anymore. As, as long as I give Izuku a quirk in, these, in, in some of these what ifs, it's not going to happen any longer. So yeah, just making that sure. Anyway, any rate, check out my Discord and my gaming channel. Links will be in the description below. With all that said, this is Leon Mookie, signing out. Later, guys.